everyone. 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. It's Weather for Weather Geeks Tuesday evening edition. Uh, steamy day today, but we are just getting started with a pretty hot stretch and a pretty humid stretch of weather that will take us into the upcoming weekend. Let's start out with a little review of what happened last evening. I recorded Weather Geeks uh, without uh, knowing that actually a tornado did touch down uh, for a time early in the evening. Uh, we had ongoing severe weather to our south and east when I recorded the video last evening. So uh, in hindsight, uh, pretty good radar signatures across the panhandle of West Virginia, southwestern Pennsylvania, and the Weather Service in Pittsburgh did some storm surveys today and found that a lot of this damage here right, right along uh, or near I-70 in the West Virginia panhandle near the PA border and also some of this uh, damage down here. Both of these tornadoes. Um, this one was an EF-2 with winds up to, I think, 110 to 120. Uh, the southwestern PA uh, storm was uh, an EF-0 tornado. Both produced uh, some wind damage, of course, especially this EF-2 out here. And yeah, the radar was pretty impressive for a time last evening, and it was kind of, you know, a little bit unexpected. Um, there was definitely some wind shear in the atmosphere last evening, but uh, the higher risk of tornadoes was expected more in southern Ohio, down into Kentucky, southern Indiana as well. So a little bit of a surprise that we had a couple of tornadoes not far to our south and east last evening. Now, so far this year through August the 2nd, we have not had a tornado warning in our television viewing area. A lot of northeast Ohio and northwest PA is kind of in a tornado uh, you know, hole so far uh, this year. We've had some tornado warnings and some confirmed tornadoes, of course, out across uh, parts of central Ohio, northwest Ohio, and then to our south and southeast. But no warnings here locally. Last year, we didn't have that many until October, ironically enough. We had a pretty big severe weather and tornado outbreak region-wide in the middle of October last year, which is a little bit of an unusual time to uh, have tornadoes, that is for sure. No tornadoes today. It just uh, was a nice-looking day, although we had a couple of renegade sprinkles and showers that, again, were a little unexpected uh, for a time through midday today, especially, say, south of 224, down in the southern Mahoning County, northern Columbiana County, uh, Around midday today, we even had a couple of sprinkles and showers in those locations. And again, not something we necessarily anticipated, but this front has been a little bit slower to push across the area than it looked like it would be at this time yesterday. So the dew point drop is modest, but it feels pretty nice out there this evening. The dew point six degrees lower than about seven o'clock on Monday evening. And we've got a pleasant night in store for us with temperatures dropping back into the 50s. Actually, the weather is pretty quiet across the lower 48 this evening. We have no tornado watches. We have no severe thunderstorm watches. Kind of typical of early August. You know, when you think of severe weather, as we get into August and late summer, typically the severe weather season in a lot of the country does start to uh, wind down for a time before ramping back up as we head into the fall in some parts of the U.S. But uh, typically August into September is a pretty quiet time, uh, generally speaking, when it, when, when it comes to severe weather nationwide. All right, tomorrow, a hot and more humid day. Those dew points come right back up, getting up to uh, the lower 70s before the end of the day. So a real soupy air mass tomorrow. Dry through the daylight hours. It is going to be a scorcher in the afternoon. Now, a couple of big uh, thunderstorms can blow up for a time tomorrow afternoon and evening up towards Detroit, maybe Toledo. Some of the debris from that may slide in tomorrow evening. I wouldn't be shocked if we got grazed by a shower or a storm late Wednesday evening. But the higher rain chances come right around here Thursday afternoon especially late in the afternoon and heading into the evening on Thursday and this stationary front's going nowhere in a hurry so as long as this front's nearby and as long as we are firmly in this steamy muggy moisture laden air mass we're going to allow for some showers and storms through Friday through parts of the weekend as well the day three flash flood risk today uh, does include a medium risk for a lot of northern Ohio and northwestern PA. For us in the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys, this will be mostly Thursday evening into the overnight. Most All of Thursday morning should be dry, and even a good chunk of the afternoon is probably uneventful on Thursday. But by Thursday evening, some gully washers can be out there, and I guess I wouldn't be surprised if uh, tomorrow, when the day three outlook becomes the outlook for Friday, if we're kind of in this medium flash flood risk once again. I can see where we have some efficient rain producers out there. Uh, Thursday evening and then again during the midday and afternoon on Friday. Very soupy air mass going nowhere in a hurry. Now this drier air up here gets deflected to our north uh, as we head towards Friday and the weekend north of that stationary boundary which is kind of draped like this and south of that boundary very very sticky air uh, for Friday, for Saturday, even into Sunday and Monday. I, I don't think we'll see an appreciable air mass change 
until the middle of next week. Now, it's going to stay several degrees above average, it looks like, through early next week. But beyond that, the air mass should start to dry out and also start to cool off. I think in about 9 or 10 days, uh, we will see temperatures retreating back to maybe the 70s for daytime highs for a few days right around mid-month. So again, we're talking 12, 11, 12 days from now. 10, 11, 12 days from now, somewhere in that range. So at the end of this outlook, say end of next week into the following weekend, a more comfortable air mass should start to slide in. But until then, yeah, we're in the muggies uh, and uh, plenty of uh, highs in the 80s, it looks like, for the first 10 days or so of August. Thanks for watching tonight's Weather for Weather Geeks. On Wednesday, we'll have an update on that uh, heavy rain, the heavy rain prospects, if you will, at the end of the week and into the weekend. And we'll take another look at the longer range on the valley's most in-depth weather forecast video, Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you then.